For this construction, we're going to make an angle bisector. So that means it's going to cut the angle in half. So the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna draw myself an angle and I'm gonna draw myself an acute angle. So something that is smaller than 90 degrees. I'm gonna make it nice and big. As I'm drawing here. So I'm gonna pick a point that's on the top ray. I'm gonna call that point A. My vertex where they meet is point B. And then another point on the line on the other ray is point C. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my compass. I'm gonna put it on the vertex of the angle. So I'm gonna take this hole, I'm gonna put it in here on point B. And then I'm gonna draw an arc that intersects both sides of the angle. So it doesn't matter where, as long as it intersects both sides. Something like that. I'm gonna name my top point, point X, and my bottom point, point Y. Now I'm gonna take my compass and I'm gonna put it on point X, and I'm gonna draw an arc on the interior of the angle, so somewhere over here on the interior. So I now put it on point X. I'm gonna pick some point over here on the inside. I'm gonna make myself a little arc. Now leaving the ruler exactly the same in the same place without changing this radius here, I'm now gonna take the point and put it on point Y and draw another intersecting arc here. And my two should meet at some point. This point where they meet, I'm gonna call it point Z. And this is now going to be the point where your bisector goes through. So I'm gonna take the straight edge, I'm gonna connect B to D, making a nice straight line, and I now have an angle bisector. So it cuts these two angles in half. So this angle here, A, B, Z, is exactly the same as angle Z, B, C. They are congruent to one another. So go ahead and pause the video and give it a try.